Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am at Midland Station right now on Friday 29th of September and we're here today to catch a very special bus route, number 311, over to Bullsbrook which is far far in the north near like Outback Splash and like the, basically east of Banksia Grove in a line if you went from there. So it's a very cool route along Great Northern Highway at high speeds. Plus we're going to ride with two deviations. One to Viviash, which is a random suburb near Midland, which is rarely served though because there's only one entrance in and out. So they just have a deviations into there with several routes. And then one to Hearns Hill or some, something like that, which is halfway up Great Northern Highway, just a random patch of houses. So both of those two deviations will be featured. This is the only trip that does both of those two deviations on the trip. The 1.16 p.m. service from Midland Station. And there's no inbound services which do both. So this is the only one, at least on school holidays. It's 1.05 right now, so we got 10 minutes to wait. And this will be my first time going up to Bullsbrook by bus. I have been by car because it's... Um, just east of Banksia Grove, as I said, only a 20 minute drive because the Neves Road there is 110 kilometers an hour. So that's very cool. There's about five or so services a day up to there. Um, and it's just the same bus doing the route back every time, so... But I'm not gonna go back. I'll be picked up from there since it's pretty close. Except Bayswater, because yeah, Bayswater is opening soon, but I'll probably post this way after. Anyway, um, so yeah, because it's absolutely ridiculous how long it takes if you want to get from like Jundalup or Banksia Grove to Bullsbrook, you have to do a massive U shape to Perth and then Midland and then up again, which takes like two and a half hours when the drive is 20 minutes. That's probably the worst example of public transport in Perth. And it used to be the same for Ellenbrook until they made 355. So I really think they should make at least like a once or twice a day bus route going from Joondalup Station or Clarkson Station actually. So you could serve Northern Banksia Grove as well directly since right now to get to Banksia Grove you have to take a 30, 40 minute route from Joondalup which is very slow but Clarkson is only like five minutes away. So that would actually be so good. Clarkson Station through the north of Banksia Grove and then like just along these road, which is a pretty bad road for a bus, but still there's worse roads that go on, like to Wendawi and such, so you could do it. And then you go past Outback Splash, which is a major attraction for like Perth, and no bus routes go there, which is quite a shame. And then you get to Bullsbrook really fast. And honestly, I think that would also be a faster way of getting from northern suburbs to Midland, because Midland is further north than the city is, so in reality, whenever you go to the city, you're actually going further south than you need to if you're trying to go to Midland. So people could also use that just to connect over to, to, um, yeah, the city. To connect over to Midland. Anyway, here's our bus 2571. Doing the 311. Woolsbrook North Avenue is via Vivash, via Hearn Hill, and via Great Northern Highway. Both two deviations. Now these special routes, which are the rarer ones at Midland, always depart from the very last stands. Like stand 7 is for 321, 322. And then even further on we have stand 8, which is for the like Eastern Hills routes, Mandaring and Wandawi and such. And then finally stand 9 is for the northern routes, like 312, 310 to Upper Swan and that 311, which is over there. So let's walk over there now. There's actually quite a lot of people waiting. But I hope to get the front seats because I really want to film the full journey of this. Here's a 301, the shortest route. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so that's what I was saying of how much of a faster connection you could make it to Midland. It would probably take, like, if there was no deviations, about one hour from Journal up to Midland, which is better if the buses were directly connected, which is better than what it currently takes by train. So yeah, they could really do that. Even just a few times a day would be great. Anyway, look how many people are waiting here for 311. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the front seat now.
comes into this suburb first, then it goes back out.
and there we have it 311 at its terminus in Bullsbrook that is a really weird route but it was very well utilized look at this shelter here as well. it was very well utilized both deviations were used there's a lot of people about 10 coming up to Bullsbrook three got off at the terminus took almost an hour 54 minutes uh, no, not 50, 52, 52 minutes, exactly on time as scheduled. The first bit took so long actually. And there's such an oddity here when it gets to Bullsbrook because the zone boundary literally cu cuts right through Bullsbrook. So the first stop in Bullsbrook is in zone four, then the next one is in zone five, then it makes a turn and it's back to zone four, and then it's back to zone five for the terminus. So before the two zone fare cap, that would have been such a scam, like depending on which is your local stop in Bullsbrook, even if it's further than some other people's, you'd be paying less. But now it's really all the same, because if you're coming from Midland, which is zone two, that's three zones, so you're obviously capped. Well, four zones, I mean, if you go all the way to zone five, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. This bus is now doing a return journey, departing in 10 minutes time. But I'm not gonna go back, that would be extremely weird and I've already, my arm hurts from, and from sitting there the whole time filming. We have arrived in Bullsbrook. It's a pretty random place, just out on the highway. There's, they're building a new Woolworths here though, and just before I filmed this I actually visited the new Woolworths at Perth Airport near Redcliffe Station, which just, which just opened on Wednesday. So that was nice as well. Now there's a new one being built here as well. But yeah, that's it. Cool route, cool deviations, and the 100 km an hour section is really cool as well. They actually built a new road, Stock Road, just recently opened between the, new Tonk the Tonkin Highway extension, which is quite new, connecting to Great Northern Highway. That's been done now as well. And yeah, it's just a pretty crazy 100 km an hour road. And another fact, this bus used to actually extend over to M Muchea, which is another town about 10, 15 kilometers further north. That was in the past. These little old routes of diagrams of when it used to go up there, but no longer. It now terminates here. It must have been too underused. So the only way to get to Muchea by public transport is with the Transalue coach, which also comes through Bullsbrook. But yeah, I'm not going on that either, so. Thanks for watching this video. It's a very cool bus route. I'll get another shot of it from the front. It's actually a little ambulance station right out the front here. St. John. And there's the bus. It's actually doing the VVVH deviation on the way back as well, but not the Herons Hill deviation. So just one of them. Final shot. There's actually a whole airport in here as well, like a whole airfield, but not for commercial use. Okay, I'll just film its departure in a few minutes. Actually, sorry, just one more thing. I think there is a misprint on one of the bus stops where it says zone 4 randomly in the middle, because I just checked that bus stop's actually the furthest northeast, so I don't understand why that would be in zone 4 and the other one's in zone 5. I think it's actually a mistake. So, well done, transfers on that. I'll try go actually capture it in a second because that's so weird <laughs> here we go now departing the 219 service and then no service for two and a half hours until 449 I think like I mean yeah two and a half hours but I don't know the exact time okay here it goes just loops around here this is Great Northern Highway which it'll go down in a second but first it loops back in to the suburb or the town I don't even know is it a suburb or a town I mean I guess it's still part of Perth is it wait maybe not <laughs> I don't even know well, whatever it's more like a town in the middle of here but yep yep um... Here's another good look at the terminus, 15430, you can see zone 5, 3112 Midland Station. There was actually one person who just got on here right now. This has been here since 1st of March 2015, this poll, they haven't changed it. I mean, what's there to change? Nothing. Yep, in a very cool wooden shelter. Now let's go look at the other stop where they misprinted the zone 4 thing. 
Okay, so here we are, just two bus stops back from the terminus, 14736, and this is literally a mistake. If you look on Google Maps, this is definitely further north than some of the other bus stops here, which are still in Zone 5, yet Zone 4. And this actually looks like a sticker, literally on top. I don't know who did this, but it's literally not 4. This is wrong. I don't, I mean, unless they somehow made the zone not a circular shape, obling, oblingated it, or however you want to say, wrong. Meanwhile, on the other side, over here, this bus stop, which you can, which is like barely even any further north since the road curves here, so it's literally in a straight line with the other bus stop. This one says, that it's in zone 5, 15434, well, someone stickered over it on this side, but you can see here, 5. So, I've, this is the first time I've actually seen a mistake with transport bus stops in as to which zone they're in. That's so weird. What is this? Please fix it, transport. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it. Just, just so weird. If someone can just verify that that is correct, like that the mistake is true, I'm pretty sure it is. Unbelievable. Because then the next bus stop's down, say five again. Like what? So it goes like four, five, four, five. What? No. Yeah, anyway, that's really the end. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.